men as soldiers feared killed during gun duel as bandit abducts motorists. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Do listen. Some soldiers were feared killed on Wednesday while trying to repel an attack by bandits and travelers in Dampara State. The incident happened on a road leading to Gusau between Kucheri and Wanzamai in the South Fair local government area of the state. Witnesses told Premium Times that many motorists were also abducted by the bandits. A lecturer at the Federal University, Gusau, Miriam Gatawa, who narrowly escaped abduction during the incident, said the attack lasted for more than 30 minutes. They had just finished abducting people when our vehicle arrived. I saw people in the villages running from their homes to safety, Mrs. Gatawa said. She added that some soldiers were killed while trying to repel the attack. The bandits reportedly abducted many motorists and wished to give away guns and ammunition belonging to the soldiers. Another resident identified, identified as Abuba Kabala Safi also confirmed the attack to journalists. He said, I heard that they blocked the Wanzamai Kuchiri Road and killed soldiers. The attack took place around 2.45 p.m. and they, bandits, were said to have closed the road to ensure that security personnel did not come to the rescue of the motorists or villagers being attacked. A motorist said around 2 to 3 p.m. this afternoon, on my way back from Abuja to Gusau, immediately after Yankara in Castina, we met a closed road being manned by some security personnel. We later found out that there was an attack on soldiers on the road by bandits, who we are said to be operating on the road. He, thought, he noted further that he helped police officers to evacuate the corpses of the soldiers. The state police spokesman Mohammed Sheho did not respond to calls and as I sent to him to get his comments on the attack. Zamfara, a northwest state, is one of the states currently under constant attacks by bandits. Security measures, including the shutdown of mobile phone services and curfew, have been taken by the government to cope in security in the area. Another day, another attack, another lives wasted. And yet, yet, they complain that the military is lacking manpower. They complain that the military needs we keep hearing information that, oh, people are not um, being recruited or people do not want to, you know, willingly um, go for this um, army recruitment and join the Nigerian army. Why would they be recruited when things have continued to go from bad to worse? Our brothers and sisters in the north, I'm sure that they must have shouted and cried their eyes out. It is now over a decade, and yet this problem still continues. I am even thinking about children that are giving birth to in this condition, children that were giving birth to during this time of crisis. They will think it is a norm that they are in a very violent environment. They will think it is a norm for you to always feel afraid and scared. Their life, their life I mean, their childhood have been snatched from them making them believe that it is the right thing to do. These things happen in this part of the country, yet the government has not declared a state of emergency. I don't know what it, is, what it, what's, what it wants to happen again. This is the perfect time. People are living in constant fear. 2 p.m. in the afternoon, at, at the middle, when the sun is still at the middle of, in the middle of the earth, or I don't even know how to put it, the sun is still up and these attacks are going on. People are running for their lives in their own land. This one, where are you running to? Where do you think, where do you think you can go to? If this thing is happening outside, you say, oh, I want to go home. But when it is happening in your home, what do you do? Tell me, what do you do? It is sad. The government should, I still believe I still believe that the government has not exhausted all means of taking, making sure these bandits, making, making sure these bandits are caught and are dealt with. The funny thing is, even the terrorists, some of them, when they, when they repented, they were forgiven. And what happened? Only God knows. They said they were going to put them or retreat them into the Nigerian army. And I'm still asking myself, and you are wondering where all these attacks are coming from. You're wondering how soldiers will be moving from one place to another. And they're attacked. When they have people in the Nigerian army sending info to the bandits. 
all this thing, the government, the government should tighten all this loose screw. Okay, there is one particular um, cleric, one Islam cleric that has information on how this particular people run, where their hideout and is in constant communication with them. Why don't you bring in him for investigative purposes? Let him help you out. Then the law can take its course. And the law should be made, should be put in place so that when these people that are wrecking such havoc are caught, these people are made to face the law. You do not, there's nothing like being forgiven. Being forgiven when so many lives have been wasted, so many lives, so many people have died. Being forgiven for killing others. Even this, this today, information getting us today was that, um, somebody was suggesting to the government that these people that are committing this havoc, that are that are reckoning this havoc are being paid. And I said, what? If they are to, to be paid, then what will happen to their victims? If they are to be paid, then their victims should be compensated times free, even if it will not even amount for the trauma they are going to face for life. What is really going on? Our soldiers are being killed on the daily. And yet, it's like, it's like something can be done to make sure this thing happen. Something can be done. There is no way that we have exhausted all means in this country to fight insecurity. There is no way. Our soldiers are being killed on a daily basis. In some region, it is tolerated, but in some region, it is not. It is, it is so sad. It is so sad. Army fears no death as far as it is from the South and Southeasterners. Their words are kill them all. They are not our brothers. They are brothers. As far as the human beings, they are brothers. They are one of us. They are citizens of Nigeria. And no citizen of Nigeria deserves this. No citizen of Nigeria that is innocent, that is, that is not among those who reckon this, have no, nobody deserves this. Nobody, no one. Very bad news. They kill some soldiers. Weeks the way gone and I mentioned Bligons is belonging to some uh, soldiers in San Francisco. Rest in peace, soldiers. That is it. We keep saying rest in peace, rest in peace, rest in peace. We rest in peace, solve this issue. We rest in peace, solve this issue. These are people, human beings like you and me. On a daily, sent to fight these bandits. When they have the information on how to get to them. And they are holding it against them. Is it not like sending somebody to their own death? Are you sure IPOB and ESN people have not gone to Zamfara? This is not this is not funny at all. This is not. Honestly, I do not understand it. Roadblocks to kill soldiers. Who is fooling who? If that is the case, I pray and wish and suggest advice that the whole soldier should leave the army and go home. These are somebody's sons, fathers, husbands, uncles, and what type. Exactly what I'm saying. Exactly my point. These are people's loved ones. They come from somewhere. The way another person is coming out to say this, this particular bandit should be respected. These are people, these Nigerian soldiers, people that have been killed. People's family, loved ones. It is sad. I just hope that one day the government springs into action and this crew that has been left loose are tightened. And this thing is done and dusted and done with. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.